are free and flowing in yellow. Those who are fraught. Once more, Hertfordshire paints on its collective smile, dreams its cup half full, and wills Watford into the fray. Not yet for them a point of no return. Tales abound of those who've had it worse and still survived. But given the whiff of desperation in these parts, it is no time to be welcoming chirpy Chelsea. So devoid of confidence versus brimming with confidence. Chelsea Jim Beglin strut into this game. They do, and you've got to remember, and I'm sure Watford will be fully aware, Peter, that they start games at times in blistering fashion. They really go for it earlier on, and um, but I don't think there'll be any change in, in arriving at Vicarage Road. Through by Jorginho, that's lovely for Abraham, who finishes with certainty. One touch, one telling touch. One simple Chelsea goal. Jorginho's pass was a pinch. Abraham wasn't going to waste it. Jorginho has made more passes into the final third this season than anybody else in the league. And how good is this for a first-timer? It's almost as if, you know, they've perfected it on the training ground. And if the ball is right, Tammy Abram gets the chance to make the movement onto it. And this is just perfect. First time, why need to take a touch? And Ben Foster ended up in no man's land and never really looked like he was going to snuff it out. An early strike from Abraham. Here's De La Feu. Jan Matt's wide of him. In by Daryl Jan Matt. That's Chuck Emerson. He's a screaming handball. Actually, Taylor's not interested. De La Feu scoops it in again. Chalabar. Pereira. Straight at Pepper. Yeah, and in doing this, Chelsea will eventually work either Jorginho free or Kovacic free. And then they'll be able to get in the half turn, have a look up and, and start moving from there. And there we are now with Mint. A lot of space for Mason Mount. He had a pop and it came back for Abraham. That is a fine save by Foster. Messina gets rid. Back in by Jorginho. Repelled by Dawson. And Nick behind for a corner. And Tommy Abram just reacted as if to say he should have finished it. And it was a fortunate break for him in coming off Dawson. And probably if he puts a little bit more behind that, he might have been able to just slip it past Foster before he can steady himself. But that's, at the moment, a very important save. Williams corner, and Foster claws it out again. That's perhaps an even better stop from the former England keeper who had a long, long way to go. Well, just, just as important, certainly, from Foster, but I think this is a spectacular save. And it was Pulisic on the front post. Almost memories of Burnley. This is a great save because he's got to sort his feet out, get across and be able to just get something on it. That is a cracker. William, Aspilicueta's on the gallop outside of him. William has seen Aspilicueta. He carries it right across in front of Foster via a deflection for a corner. Yeah, I think he's a little annoyed that, you know, he didn't pick out another blue shirt. But ju just look at these Chelsea players and the desire they have to get into the box. And as Pilaqueta gets there. I mean, they're pouring forward. Here goes Mason Mount and William. Here goes the goal. That's the field. Right again for De La Feu. You can run at Emerson. De La Feu! Fist it wide. And that's more like it. And, and we, we've seen an improvement from Watford in terms of what they're trying to do at the uh, at the business end of the pitch and it's a really good hit and you can feel a little unfortunate then but that has to give them some confidence Mount Mason Mount thrashes it against the crossbar and Foster might just might just have got a telling touch there 
If he did, that is one wonder save. I think he did. How good was this? Oh, I think it's his best. No, that because you don't hit him any better than that. And wow, wow. I don't think you get the appreciation of the speed the ball's moving at, but he had to react so fast to get a glove on that. Chased down by Yanma. Dale Fay is interested. He can run it to Mori. And he can roll it for Gray, who is denied by a splendid stop from Kurt Zuma. His confidence on the ball is oozing. And here's William. And he's rolled it for Mason Mount, and Foster's got across to Parry once more. Well, right now, he's the strongest candidate for man of the match. And this is the danger for Watford if they do try and open up. You know, that there's, there's going to be space for Chelsea, basically. And William did ever so well. And, OK, it wasn't his greatest control, but he hit it really strongly again, Mason Mount. And Ben Foster is... Um, the shining light. William. Tammy Abraham, Christian Pulisic, simple as you like. Chelsea, two to the good. Pulisic's the man again. Chelsea's all-American superstar has four in two weekends now and Chelsea have comfort yeah and I think disappointing from a Watford perspective because the run from Pulisic just wasn't picked up Jan Mats let him go kind of sailing looked over his shoulder and he still doesn't pick it up I thought William might have hit it first there's a little deflection as he tried to find Abraham but it's a lovely ball across the six yard box but Watford were just they switched off simple as that you know they knew he was making the movement and they never ever reacted to it and Lampard is jumping with joy aware as they all are how much bigger a number is a two is the one I think we've made Hudson the toy Kovacic Pulisic Foster this time with his studs Foster this time doing a De Gea impression. An escape from Messina, but he has got a free kick. Not that Mount believes he's done an awful lot wrong. Well, Messina seemed to mount, mount him. Um, but, you know, once this is fed to Pulisic, I love, I love this touch now, this one where he just takes it on another another yard and he takes Cabaselli out of the picture and that was needed again the toe, the toe of yeah, Ben Foster Willian here comes Aspilicueta it's flicked out to Kovacic Foster's behind it, of course he is yeah, difficult to, to know exactly what he was going to have to do whether he was going to catch it on the volley or, or the half volley Kovacic and once it did fall to him, he hit it into the ground, didn't he, first, which was of help to, to Ben Foster. Mount. And Kovacic, Abraham, just failed to apply the stud, which would have bought Chelsea's third. Yeah, I'm not convinced that Kovacic is actually looking for Tammy Abram here. I wonder if he was actually trying to get something to trouble Ben Foster. I think he's trying to hit that at goal. And it nearly worked in Abram, Abram's favour. That's another bad one. Kovacic and Abraham! Finally, Mariapa did the business defensively. Yeah, he's gone for the spin as well, hasn't he, Abraham? Thinking he's just going to get something at goal at the end of it not, not quite look maybe just about on to suggest that uh, Watford can lay a glove on Chelsea at all Mount Jorginho Mason Mount Foster's behind it Nico Familia took it back Herrera looked to play it in for Taylor Feu 
Kovacic. Taylor Foods won it back. Jorginho's challenge. Just the goal kick. Yeah, he, he wanted a penalty, Delefeo. Delefeo thought that Jorginho had just clipped him. And I thought Chelsea were overdoing it. I mean, you know, sometimes you just need to get rid of it. And Jorginho got himself in a little bit of trouble. And I don't think there's enough in that, is there? He breaks free. Oh, there, there's a little bit of a touch then, but he takes a step. And that's probably... Well, it's not quite going to go against him. There is, there is a little a touch. Well, a fortnight ago, Jan Vertonghen certainly gave him more than that, and it wasn't turned round. But uh, Anthony Taylor is consulting here with Mike Dean. There's contact. There is contact. I, I'm leaning towards a spot kick. Anthony Taylor has had a signal penalty for Watford, lifeline from nowhere, for a sight of something. Potential salvation, Dale Afeu scores for Watford, who have ten minutes or more to grab something here, so very improbably. Well, this is a lifeline now, and that's nicely struck. Firm, mind made up. And the keeper guessed the wrong way, and it's because of this. Chelsea overplaying around their own box. Jorginho got in trouble, and he caught Delefeo. And out as far as Kiko Femenia, and he can reload it. And Massina can meet it and head it wide. Yeah, he just misjudged it. And that is probably that. It looks like it. In by Delefeo. It got a flip! Down went Kepa to deflect it wide, and that was the end. Kepa has saved Chelsea's bacon and won them the game at the very end. Seven away wins on the trot, five consecutive Premier League wins, but by a margin, by a fingertip, which was so much tighter than it ought to have been, and the mutual appreciation shown by the goalkeepers is understandable and total. Well, Foster had been the hero, hadn't he, in terms of goalkeeping until then, and Ariza Balaga had to react and, and did. Ben Foster nearly scored the equaliser at the end of a game in which he was Watford's best player, but Chelsea win it, Watford still haven't won anywhere, anytime this Premier League year. It is Watford 1, Chelsea 2. I know this video was good, so if you like this, you'll definitely like this one.